In the second part of this video, we'll talk about some more of the details of electroplating. We'll write chemical equations for the processes that are happening here. And we'll talk about oxidation and reduction, anodes and cathodes. So in the previous video, I showed the electroplating process by moving a bunch of papers around, sort of animating it. Here, I'm going to be using a diagram that doesn't move, that's a lot more like what you'd see in a textbook or on a worksheet. So this is what I'm trying to show. Here, a neutral silver atom loses one of its electrons that's pulled towards the battery. This turns the neutral silver atom into a silver 1 plus ion and it comes off the surface of the metal, dissolving in the solution. Over here on the copper ring, a silver 1 plus ion gains an electron. This ion loses its charge and turns into a neutral silver atom. This neutral silver atom can no longer dissolve in the solution, and it now forms solid silver as it sticks to the surface of the ring. So that's how you show the process using a diagram. Now let's see how we could describe the same process by writing chemical equations. We'll start with what's happening over here on the copper ring. So here we start with the Ag1 plus ion. And now what's the physical state of the Ag1 plus? Well, it's dissolved in the solution. So I can show that by writing AQ in parentheses after it. AQ stands for aqueous, which means dissolved in solution, dissolved in water. So AG1 plus then receives an electron. So I will write plus E minus, E minus the symbol for electron. And then I got my arrow. And what does this give us? It gives us a neutral silver atom, AG. AG, we know it's neutral because there's no charge up here. If there's no charge, it just means it's neutral. What is the physical state of this atom? It's solid. Solid metal sticking to the surface of the copper ring. So I will indicate that with an S in parentheses. So this is the equation for what's happening here. Now the equation for what's happening on the piece of silver is a little bit trickier. So I'm actually going to start off by writing it incorrectly because I think that makes more sense, and then I'll show you how to fix it. Okay, so on the piece of silver, we start with neutral Ag, okay? So in neutral Ag atom, what's its physical state? It's solid, it's part of the solid piece of silver. Okay, so there's an S. Now, what happens, and this is the part that I'm going to do incorrectly, is this Ag loses one of its electrons. So I'm going to write minus E minus. That's not right, we'll fix it in a minute. And losing that electron gives us Ag1 plus that is now dissolved in solution, so it's going to be Aq. Now what's wrong with this equation? Well, it's this minus sign right here, this minus E minus. Because in chemical equations, you can't subtract things. You can only add them. So I can't put a minus sign in front of this electron. Well then how do I show that this Ag is losing an electron if I can't use a minus sign? Well, what I do is I move the electron to the other side of the equation, just like you do in a math problem, and this will change its sign from negative to positive. Let me show you what I mean by rewriting this. Okay. So we got Ag, solid, and then I'm going to be moving this electron over here, so I'm just going to put my arrow. Now I have Ag1+, plus. that's aqueous, and now that the electron is going to be on this side, I change its sign from minus to plus, plus E-, minus. and this is the correct way to write the equation for this process. Putting the E- minus over here shows that it's no longer part of the Ag here. Okay, so it's like putting it here shows that it's now coming apart, that it's not part of it anymore. Okay, so these are the two equations for what's happening here. Now, you can look at the diagrams 
or you can look at the equations here and you can definitely tell that there is transfer of electrons going on, okay? So this is definitely an oxidation reduction process, okay? Because there's transfer of electrons. Now I want to talk about what's going on here in terms of oxidation and reduction, okay? So just to refresh your memory, reduction is electron gain and oxidation is electron loss. So what's happening over here on the piece of silver? Well, we have these neutral silver atoms that are losing electrons, turning into ions. So, loss of electrons over here on the piece of silver, oxidation is taking place. Over here on the copper ring, these silver ions are gaining electrons, so reduction is happening here, oxidation and reduction. Now, both of these equations that we wrote are actually called half reactions because each one of them tells us half the story of the oxidation reduction process, right? Here's, a, here's the oxidation part, here's the reduction part, put them together, we get oxidation reduction. So finally, there's one more thing I wanna do. We can give names to these parts of the electroplating device based on whether oxidation or reduction is happening there. Okay, these are the two names that we're gonna be using, cathode and anode. The cathode is the site of reduction. It's where reduction happens. And the anode is the site of oxidation. It's where oxidation happens. So over here on the piece of silver, these neutral silver atoms are losing electrons. Oxidation is taking place. So the piece of silver is the anode, the site of oxidation. Over here, these Ag1 plus ions are gaining electrons. Reduction is taking place. So the copper ring is the cathode. Anode, site of oxidation. Cathode, site of reduction. So that's everything about electroplating. Let's just tie this information all together with a big picture. Here's our electroplating cell. We got a piece of silver, a battery, and a copper ring. On the piece of silver, neutral silver atoms are losing electrons. So oxidation is happening, and we can call the piece of silver the anode. Losing electrons turns the neutral solid silver into silver one plus ions, which means that they come off the surface of the piece of silver, they dissolve in the solution. Then over here on the copper ring, these Ag1+, the silver ions, get electrons added to them. They gain electrons, so the copper ring is where reduction, gain of electrons is happening, and we can call it the cathode, the site of reduction. Gaining those electrons turns the Ag1+, ions that are dissolved in the solution, it turns them into solid silver metal so they form a layer of solid silver on the copper ring. So, just remember, the next time you see a piece of gold or silver or platinum jewelry for sale for really cheap, chances are it is not solid precious metal all the way through, but it's been electroplated, just like this.